LaDante Hinton grew up the youngest of five siblings in an impoverished neighborhood in Lansing, Michigan. Gangs, drugs, and guns were rampant, but Hinton never fell victim to his neighborhood thanks to his family. Rob Stone has more. I don't think I would be where I am today if it wasn't for basketball. I came a long way, you know, since playing in the park, age of 10, you know, and dreaming of things like this, and for it to come true is like a blessing. LaDante, oh, bring it up. East Lansing, Michigan, folks. That's how they shoot it. I grew up in a tough neighborhood. Hinton, yes. He didn't have everything that he wanted, so it was kind of, it was kind of rough, but it was good. My older brothers play basketball in the neighborhood, and I just wanted to be like them so much that they, they put the ball in my hand at a young age. LaDante Hinton spent the most time playing with his brother, Dontrell. Both shared dreams of playing college basketball. They became each other's toughest opponents and biggest supporters. My favorite memory was just playing in front of him plenty of times and him encouraging me, and he really inspired me to play this game. And, for me, for him not to be here right now is really tough for me. In 2007, life took a dramatic turn. Police fingered Dontrell as the shooter in a drive-by that left one injured and another dead. Thank you, no further questions, John. Two different trials both ended in hung juries, but he was still convicted of assault with intent to murder. It was a, a tragic, thing that happened to him, you know, he was at the wrong place at the wrong time, and he was sentenced to 19 years in prison. He was one of the closest people to me in this world. But he hurt so bad about his brother. He didn't retreat, but what he did was he um, just decided to go harder with basketball. He, he refused to let anything stop him because he's seen how life can take you away from what you like to do. I always play for your family, you know, that they, they've been there for me since day one. That's what you play the game for. Hinton spent the next four years lighting it up on the court. The player nicknamed Buckets graduated from Eastern High School as a four-time first-team All-State selection and was the runner-up for Mr. Basketball in 2011. Just going through a lot of things in life, it makes you have a fire on your, on your back and play with a chip on your shoulder knowing that this can be taken away from you at any minute. I don't take it for granted. So you got to play every game like it's your last. In the spring of 2011, Henton committed to Providence, and the chip on his shoulder went with him. That mentality has helped him blossom into a leader and a key player for the Friars. Well, Dante was the first gentleman we recruited when I became the head coach here at Providence College. I couldn't be more proud of this young man on what he's done, uh, the identity he's brought to Providence College. He's somebody that'll go down as, as one of the all-time greats to, to wear a fry uniform. But no amount of points or rebounds could ever replace the bond he has with his family. He hopes to one day see Dontrell in the crowd again. For him to be out there once again and, and seeing me play will mean everything to me. You know, um, I, I pray for him every night, you know, just to see him in the stands. He just told me, don't stop doing what you do. Don't stop playing ball. Don't never stop doing that. That's what you love. That's, that's what you have a passion for. So when you step on the court, play for me and play for your family. We were able to speak to Dontrell, but no recording devices were allowed. He isn't eligible for parole until August 2026. Dontrell told us LaDante is his pride and joy. He also can't help but think his unfortunate situation has helped motivate LaDante and get him to where he is now. Dontrell also used the word emotional several times when talking about what it was like watching his brother have so much success. And you know, we watch these college sports and you forget uh, these are kids yeah. sometimes, don't we? Yeah, so many of the stories that we hear about our student athletes are between the lines and X's and O's. But this is the type of story that really makes me proud to be an alumni of Providence College. College is so much about growing as a person, facing adversity, and how do you handle that? And LaDonte Hinton is a perfect example of a young man who came to college with a lot of issues that have happened in his past and has become one of the best student athletes that you can imagine. Spent some time with him at Big East Media Day. Our articulate, well-spoken, well-dressed, talk to Coach Cooley about potentially being a, a business owner one day. Truly a great story. Nice piece getting to know one of the league stars, that's for sure. Up next, we promise you access